Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another Bitcoin price update because we have seen overnight a huge push towards $34,000 guys. In some exchanges we even reached $36,000 or even $37,000 very close to our main target that we have between $40,000 to $50,000 for Bitcoin. So excuse me if this video is a little bit shaky and of course not as usual because I am still moving, we are still uh, setting up everything here. So um, we still need some days here until the setup is ready. But of course, uh, we can have a nice TA on the Bitcoin price uh, thanks to my mobile phone and notebook, of course. So I hope that I can stabilize a little bit the screen here. But basically what happened is yesterday we had a massive uh, pump here towards our main resistance up here at around $33,000. And as you can see, we had even a daily close above this Fib line. This was my initial target where I, I was expecting at least a little pullback. But as you can see, Bitcoin pushed through like a bulldozer. And right now we are seeing here continuation to the upside right into our yellow resistance trend line. So if we zoom out here, this is going to be very, very important because if we have a look here, what happened in the past with this yellow trend line, you can see that previously we had a lot of support here. We had a lot of support touch points here. And right now, of course, since we broke below here, we have it as a new resistance and this is coming in right here at around $34,000. So this is possible that we could get here a pullback to retest important support levels, maybe even come down towards $32,000. As you know by now, our uh, long positions are still running. I told you that I'm just raising up the stop loss. Currently it is here at around uh, uh, 30, uh, yeah, $32,000. But um, so far I didn't get stopped out and as you can see um, currently our lungs are exploding and this is just one small position that I have. This is what just the, the newest that I opened up with you guys a couple of days ago right before we uh, had this huge pump. Remember this video where I told you that this week most likely we're going to see $33,000 for Bitcoin. Here we were trading at $29,000 even below and then um, of course uh, uh, we had this huge explosion and uh, what I did is uh, remember I just opened up a, a very low leveraged uh, long position and right now I took all my margin outside because I have increased my uh, leverage so that the trade is still the same I opened it up with two top oh I see that currently um my camera went off, but let's turn it on again. So basically what happened is I opened up this trade with $2,000 and since uh, this trade um, was exploding, I took out my leverage. So basically I have only $50 in it. That's why uh, the percentages here are very, very high. What you can do, of course, with your trade is also increase the leverage. As you can see, I am currently with 50x leverage. I started with 1x or 2x and right now I have 55. We can even increase it even more. We can even go to like 55x, then change it. And then you see that also the liquidation price will be changed. So also the gains and everything are higher now. You can see 810%. And uh, now um, my margin is even lower, $45. This is because I just, I'm just increasing the leverage because anyway, I have a stop loss. I cannot get liquidated. And um, yeah, so once the profits are locked in, you, you, you can increase the leverage as you wish. But the thing is that I'm expecting here continuation to the upside. So even if we get here a retracement back down towards $32,000, I think that over the next coming days and weeks, as I, as I told you guys, I'm expecting here continuation to the upside. If we get stopped out, then of course we can enter into a new trade. And the main reason why I think that we most likely are getting here nice continuation to the upside is mainly because of the USR index. As I told you guys, yesterday we had a daily close below our support, the mini line of the Kelvin channels. I told you that if here we start to create a lower lows and lower highs, we will start here a downtrend in the daily time frame, probably to test it at 200 daily moving average. If that happens, and it looks like that this will happen, then of course we will see more upside for the crypto and stock market. And also here for Nasdaq, as I also told you this weekend, guys, we're getting what I was expecting, a nice bounce right at the support trend line from this falling wedge. So in theory, we should expect here continuation to the upside here for Nasdaq because uh, currently the US or index is looking weak, Nasdaq is looking bullish, and of course, this will fire up the crypto market even more. And remember, our main... Okay, my photo, my, my photo phone here is again uh, disturbing me, but uh, let's... Let's go here straight into the monthly time frame again because my phone is currently doing some 
weird things. But let's dive here straight into the monthly time frame. Because as you can see, we are right now just breaking above the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level. And I told you guys that most likely the target now is the top set of the Kelton channels currently at $42,000. And once we break the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level, so once we're going to break here this specific this specific fib line, the next major target is up here at 42k and sometimes we even see wicks above the top set of the Kelvin channels and that would bring of course Bitcoin up towards the 0.786 fib line at around $50,000. You can see that also here in the past we had a lot of support here, now of course this is new resistance. So it is possible that Bitcoin will chop around here at around $40,000, a bit more, a bit less. Um, for the next coming weeks and months until maybe we're getting another rejection, another corrective phase maybe before the Bitcoin halving. And once we have the Bitcoin halving next year, then of course, <clears throat> excuse me, start the big bull run towards new all-time highs. But for now, I think that these are the main targets. 42K there, this is where I'm going to start to um, DCA out of all my longs that I have opened. Some of them are even with an entry price below $20,000. I am going to um, uh, close them and uh, everything between 40 to 50K, in my opinion, is a good take, take profit area. But this is only the case if we are going to reach those targets before, before the Bitcoin halving next year. If we're gonna reach those targets and stay around 40 to 50K until the next Bitcoin halving, then I think that we will not see $20,000 again um, for the next coming months and years, probably. All right, guys, so I am very bullish for Bitcoin. Congratulations to everyone that took these longs. I know that many of you are currently longing with me uh, over on Bybit, over on uh, Maxi Global, because Maxi Global currently is having a very nice uh, trading uh, event here. This is this Halloween uh, trading competition. Uh, so take advantage, sign up to Maxi Global to get some extra bonus here because uh, currently you can make some extra money if you're just trading here on Maxi Global. Otherwise, stick with the best ones like uh, Bybit, for example, the Femex, Bitro. You find all the recommended exchanges in the video description and also check out this game that where we currently are winning every time some free USDT every six hours and you can win quite big guys. So definitely sign up also to this uh, crypto game here and, and join the, the Telegram group. That is very important because you cannot just enter here and gamble. Um, you need to be sure that you will win to multiply your USDTs every day. So join the Telegram group and just trade based on the signals that are coming out every six hours and also based on the strategy that you find on the Telegram group because like that you will never lose. So definitely, check it out as long as this is working we can make some money and of course also check out the newest pre-sales you find them here in the video description because um, currently we have those three bitcoin mind tricks meme combat and telegram casino which are almost sold out those are the, the final stages of those pre-sales if you want to participate because currently we can make some nice money with them and then of course uh, convert our gains into bitcoin or usdt or ethereum or whatever you want because also ethereum currently is breaking significant resistance levels if we switch over here into the daily time frame for Ethereum, I told you yesterday, guys, that Ethereum, which was trading basically uh, down here yesterday, I told you that here most likely we're going to see a run up towards $1,800, the 200 daily moving average. We are lagging behind Bitcoin here. And what we see right now is, of course, continuation to the upside. I think that on Ethereum also we still have a lot of upside potential. The main resistance is coming up here at $2,280. I think that in the next coming days we can trade all the Ethereum because here I'm expecting big moves to the upside. Currently we're still lagging behind Bitcoin, but things will change very, very uh, soon because um, most of the times Bitcoin or Ethereum is making the big first moves and then of course the others are following and that's why if the US dollar index continues to dump in the next coming weeks and vice versa Nasdaq is starting to pump then this of course will fire up Bitcoin towards 40 to 50k and for Ethereum I think that also here we most likely are going to see prices uh, towards $3,000 in the not so distant future because once we break above $2,200, the breakout target would bring Ethereum up to $4,000. But this, in my opinion, is only possible if Bitcoin would really reach the forty dollars to $50,000 uh, or better, the $50,000 area because 40 k I think, right now is very easy reachable. All right, guys, I'm going to salute you. I have to continue here. Thank you very much for watching. Congrats to all the gains and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye for now.